my name is Kyle Mabrian, and I'm just going to talk about um, empathy training and just kind of like discuss my development of empathy, um, my thoughts on the course, my thoughts on um, incorporating um, my development of empathy with my Christian background as well as with the biblical worldview. So, you know, I look forward to this. So let's get right into it. Um, so. To begin, I um, want to focus on the three most important aspects of empathy that I learned throughout this course. All right, let's start with number one. Number one, most important to me was that there are different interpretations of what empathy is. My interpretation could differ from your interpretation, and that's not a bad thing. Having, um, in my opinion, having something that doesn't have a set and sound definition, um, as in like, Oh no, 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 that's not, that's not right. You, you don't feel that way kind of thing, um, especially when it comes to feelings. Um, it just kind of makes it easier for me to comprehend because um, it, it, you didn't have to seclude it to just one little thing. You had this little thing over here, and then you had it over here, and then you had it over here, and you had just kind of like all these different um, aspects that you could kind of correlate. Um, for example, emotional contagion. You know, when we're going over Virginia and empathy, um, it was amazing. You know, I was all for it. I was like, woo, I do that. Like, I, I got it. This is what I do. Okay, this is great. Like, I'm empathizing. Awesome. And then, like, the next chapter, it was like, it's great, kind of more so in moderation, because when you really think about it, you're reacting based on how you felt when that situation happened to you or how you would felt feel when that situation happened to you based on you know the facial expression you picked up or the sound or the smell in the wind you know that kind of thing and um sometimes it's not that simple to understand the two um it took me kind of like a couple readings to actually really get what emotional contagion was um and this is even after I was like so excited about it because you know you had that that other view that's like just not so much you know, obviously, because, you know, it's not focusing on you. You can do some, but not so much. Um, and so that kind of segues into my second most important aspect um, of empathy. Um, a little bit goes a long way. And what I mean by that is it was important to me that the book had multiple... Um, multiple examples of when you know the counselors were just kind of sitting there and listening because I'm that's me I love the observation part I I love to give my my two cents when it's requested or when I feel like it's an appropriate time to make that pause but to me I I enjoy getting to know who I'm going to be working with in terms of client way in the future or like you know I I enjoy, like, with my best friends, I enjoy watching them, like, in their natural habitat, so that way, you know, if anything comes up and they want to ask me about it, um, or they're, like, you know, discussing some boyfriend situation or something that happened, you know, I can be like, oh, hey, well, you know, I noticed this the other day, and, you know, I feel like maybe this is where this is stemming from, um, like I said, I, I always like to have that, just a little bit of observation first, so I like that the book... Um, and our, our understanding of empathy and our discussions, you know, was permissible to m different understandings um, and not just the limitations of it um, and emphasize the awesomeness in our um, observation. Um, and so that goes on to my third thing um, that I learned about empathy, most importantly, emotional empathy, cognitive empathy. That was such a mind blower to me. Um, I did not even think of that, um, but it helped me to understand my weaknesses and my strengths and empathy. Um, and I found that, you know, you need to have an understanding of those two and an understanding of how they mesh together and make the third um, emotional, um, emotional cognitive empathy dash in between the emotional and the cognitive. Um, but I feel, um, that having the two as separate kind of helps you to understand that it's okay if you're not as strong in emotional, um, empathy, because you still have cognitive empathy. 
um, which is where my strengths were significantly, um, and, you know, my weakness was emotional empathy. Um, and it's, it's not because I don't like to have emotions. I'm probably one of the most sensitive people ever. Um, well, I feel like it. Um, it's hard for me personally to understand the feelings I'm feeling when I'm feeling them. Um, and it's a, it's, been, it's a work in progress. And to me, if I were to um, focus on the two of them as one, just one whole thing of empathy where I knew I had to have an emotional, I knew I had to have cognitive and keep those two together, um, I don't think I would have developed um, as much of an understanding of my empathy as I do. Um, so strength, cognitive empathy, um, it's easy for me to kind of like observe. I think when I was little, I was just really good at kind of like watching things around me. And so I, I kind of, I continue that. And I also, um, I have an understanding that I have the gift of discernment. And so I kind of just, some things I just kind of know about people and it just is dead on. And it's, it's strange sometimes because it's like, it just kind of comes out of my mouth. Um, and then I'm like, Okay, so that was good. All right, cool. Um, yeah. And so I would like to see my strength extend to where it's not just I'm great at cognitive empathy, but it, it required me to – what's the word I'm trying to think of? It required me to um, at least have a little bit of assistance from – you know, working on my development of emotional empathy since that's my strength, I mean my weakness, because if it's never presented in that way, I feel like I'm not going to, not I'm not going to remember, but I feel like it's just, it won't be as worked on or it won't be as, you know, worked into the situation as it could be. Um, in terms of how I would improve my weakness, um, I've already started doing this where I am thinking about my emotional my emotions as they are occurring rather than displaying my emotions and then later wondering oh was I really that mad um I realized that the reason why I so readily um experience emotional contagion is because I lack of ability my lack of ability um with understanding my emotions while I'm having them yeah understanding my emotions while I'm having them allows me to observe someone else having experienced an emotion and then kind of pull myself into experiencing that. And um, it just wasn't really there for me from the get that um, if I am experiencing what they're experiencing and focusing on me. Um, and so I, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, so... It can be improved. Um, it's going to take some memory to remind myself to do it just because emotions for me, like sometimes I feel like they happen really fast and sometimes I feel like they could just happen slowly and I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, but yeah, most of the time I feel like I have an emotion and then it's just, it's already started and I'm just like, no, I wanted to work on that. <laughs> um, so... That I guess I, I guess that involves how I'm going to further develop my um, my empathy as well. Um, part yes, um, I would like to start incorporating empathy immediately at my job. I am going to be working with bariatric patients um, and doing charts for them. And you know, it's been emphasized <laughs> you're um, empath empathized that you're going to have to have a lot of empathy um, and. I think it's, it's kind of right time, right place, thanks God, um, for making sure that that's the, that's the placement that I got for this job where it was a situation where I could continue this development instead of kind of, you know, going on to my next classes and thinking about how great it would be to incorporate them and then having some issues, making sure that I actually incorporate them. Um, and that would be how I want to further develop my empathy as well. Like, I don't just want to leave this as I got this information in this class and then I left it in a notebook 
or I only use it with social outings and stuff. Like, I want to incorporate this in the rest of my courses, which this is my first one. So <laughs> all of my courses that I have to take in order to make it to counseling, you know, I want to be able to every single um, opportunity that I can work on, you know, applying emotional empathy, thinking of, okay, how would I go about doing this? Um, so that way emotional empathy for me gets a little bit of, gets a little bit of a workout and kind of, you know, gets, gets it pumping. Um, obviously not going to leave cognitive empathy in the sand. Love it with all my heart. Um, but you know, I, I appreciate the idea of being able to consider empathy for the rest of the, um, the program, because I feel like that in itself will, even if I didn't do a lot of effort into it, um, just, just thinking of it a little bit, I feel like will go a long way. So I'm excited to see how I can interpret empathy into the new classes that I have coming up. Um, and one of them is actually, um, spiritual, um, actually they're both the, this, the Theo and the spiritual one. Um, and so I think it's going to be really interesting to see what a theology or spiritual class has to say specifically about what exactly is um, the worldview that Jesus had and a Christian worldview, um, because I, I feel like sometimes that, not so much as it's, it goes up to interpretation, but it's kind of how you see it. Like, for me, I see it as, um, you know, we're, God didn't want us to judge others. He wants us to love others. So if I have a patient coming in and they're not on my like top 10 preference, I could offer someone else the service, you know, or I could work with this patient. Um, you never know when God's trying to talk to you through someone else. Um, and I've learned that on various occasions, <laughs> ironically enough, when it was like somebody I didn't want to talk to. Um, and so for me, what helps the most is thinking of it with that Christian point of view where, you know, what would Jesus do? Would, is Jesus just going to let this person, you know, just have a bad evening? Or, you know, is Jesus going to offer some some empathy? You know, hey, you know, come sit down with me. Let's discuss. Um, maybe I can help you out, you know? Um, and I think that's why I always have felt like I empathize very well with others. Um, just because I always thought of it in that way, you know, like, what would Jesus do? Would he just keep walking? Would he help out that, that, that person with their issue? You know, would he, you know, even if he didn't like the person, like, would he just be like, oh, okay, bye. Or would he actually, you know, put forth extensive effort to do everything that he could to help that person that's in that situation? Um, and I, I, I feel like personally, I felt like we, we, touch base on your the biblical point of view in terms of empathy. I think maybe the NC class did it more than we did. Um, I wish it had been just a little bit more of it that we that like was required to put into the discussions. Um, I think most of it was put into our papers that we wrote with you, but it was interesting to me to see how everyone kind of their differing worldviews, um, if they mentioned it or how they incorporated um, empathy into their day. It, it just reminds me that, you know, God made each of, each of, God made each of us different, and so we can never really judge somebody. And it also goes back to empathizing, you know. Someone comes in and they don't do things the way I do it, I, I can't just sit there and judge you. You know, I want to understand you. I want to be able to help you. Um, you know, because obviously you came here and, you know, that's what, that's what you were looking for. And so I want to do my best to give you the type of care and, um, and Christian like love that I can. Um, and I feel like, I feel like this class has started, started to teach me everything that I really wanted to know about empathy that I didn't know. I wanted to know about empathy. Um, and I really appreciate it. I, I enjoyed it so much. Um, but it looks like my 15 minutes are up. And uh, that being said, 
have a good day. Bye.